Hello friends welcome to a brand new episode of success stories in today's episode we are going to discuss about a person known for his unorthodox bowling action and awesome skills with the ball Jaspreet Bumrah my name is Steve Isaac and you are watching Jaspreet Bumrah's success story Jaspreet Bumrah was born on 6 December 1993 in Ahmedabad to a Sikh family his father Jaspreet Bumrah was a businessman who had a chemical factory his mother Daljit Bumrah was a school principal at Nirman High School. Jaspreet also have a sister named Juhika Bumrah. Life isn't a fairy tale, of course. A small family of Bumrah had seen the shares of ups and downs. When Jaspreet was 7 years old, he lost his father due to hepatitis B. After that, Jaspreet mother Daljit Bumrah took the responsibility of the family. Daljit had to shoulder the family's burden after her husband's death. Jaspreet did his schooling at Nirman High School where his mother used to work as a principal. He used to concentrate more on playing cricket at school than on his studies. When he turned 12, he realized it's just not his dream to play cricket but it is his passion. That's when he got serious about the bowling. Whenever he used to get time home or at school, he used to remove the ball from his bag and used to practice. Here is the incident his mother shared on a TV show. As a kid, Bumrah used to play with the ball inside the house during afternoon when the sun was too harsh for him to play outside. So his mother Daljit Bumrah put one condition for him which was to play without making too much noise so that she could take a nap. And a 12 year old had found a unique solution to that by choosing the floor skirting where the wall meets the floor as his target to throw the ball at. The ball would make the least sound when it bounces off it. So Now you can guess why his yorkers are so perfect. At the beginning, like any other kid, Jaspreet also used to copy famous bowlers action, but later he adopted his own bowling action. When Jaspreet Bumrah turned 14 years, he started believing that he can become a good world-class bowler. So he went up to his mother and told that he want to become a cricketer. She was initially surprised and said, "There are so many kids playing cricket and it would not be easy." But Jaspreet Bumrah said, "Please keep faith in me." and she didn't stop him because she used to say in a parents meet in school that every child has a dream and we should give them a chance from then on he started living a scheduled life morning he used to go for a bowling practice and after school again he used to go for training to his cricket academy after lots of training and practice he became the top bowler in his academy then he got a opportunity to train in mr of pace foundation where famous bowlers like megrath train young indian talent He started practicing there and very soon he got selected for Gujarat under 19 team and took 7 wickets in batting friendly pitch. That's when he grabbed the eyeballs of Mumbai Indians coach John Wright with his sling bowling action who was present there and very soon Mumbai Indians bought him at base price. This is where he got an opportunity to play and train with greats like Sachin Tendulkar, Lasith Malinga, Ricky Ponting, Shane Bond, Anil Kumble and many more. In an interview he also mentioned that he got to learn lots of things from Lasith Malinga and Mitchell Johnson. And he debuted against RCB in 2013 when Jaspreet Bumrah came to bowl his first over India's batting star Virat Kohli was on the crease and hit him for three consecutive sixes. That's when Sachin Tendulkar came to him and said, "Don't worry." ball one good ball and your life will change that is what it exactly happened the very next ball virat kohli was lbw and he took 3 wickets for 32 runs in his debut match then soon he got a call to play for india and made his t20 debut for india in jan 2016 against australia for mama shami's replacement and took 3 wickets for 23 runs and jaspreet bumrah played a very important role in this series white washing australia 3-0 And next match he didn't perform well. He got hit by batsmen for boundaries. That's when he went near Malinga for tips and then Malinga told him to work on his variations. Then he worked on his variations and won many matches for Mumbai Indians. It was tough for selectors to ignore this kind of a bowler from playing for India. So finally he got a chance to play for India in ODIs. This is a short success story of a boy from practicing his bowling by targeting the wall skirting to Virat Kohli's go to bowler under present situation don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a nice day